Well, welcome back to News 16. We're now here with our sports reporter, Clay, and it sounds like the UK basketball team did really well this past Monday night. Hey, you're exactly right. Billy Gillespie and the Wildcats kicked off the new season with an exhibition and put on a show with over 100 points. New 16 was there with the story. The cheerleaders are pepped and the fans are hyped because basketball is back in the bluegrass. The UK men's team paraded through its first exhibition game Monday night, taking down Missouri St. Louis 111 to 53. The Wildcats were led on the floor by Jody Meeks, sinking seven three-pointers on his way to 27 points. Five Wildcats finished in double figures, including new face Josh Harrelson. Harrelson scored 21 points and snagged 12 rebounds in the game. Head coach Billy Gillespie is impressed from what he's seen of Harrelson. He's basically changed his body. He's not where he needs to be yet, but, but uh, he's, he's really been committed, and uh, I think he's starting to understand how good he can be. As, as we're learning, he can shoot the ball, and he has a real ability to score. So I, I think that as he continues to grow into a confident player, I think we're going to see him get better and better. Hey, you don't think we forgot Patrick Patterson, do you? All SEC preseason pick Patrick Patterson came up big in his season debut. He finished the night with 24 points and 11 rebounds, including this alley-oop put-down. Patterson likes what he sees from the new faces on the roster. Uh, this year, it's going to help out a lot, you know, uh, not always having to go to the rebound to, to get the board, uh, push the ball in transition a lot more, and you can look up, up court for baskets. So I think uh, this year, it's going to help out a lot since we have so many people. The Wildcats will take on Washita Baptist in Rupp Arena Friday night at 7 p.m. Billy Gillespie's big pickup for next season went down, but there is some silver lining. UK basketball recruit Daniel Orton will miss most of his high school senior season due to a knee injury. The 6'10 senior suffered some torn cartilage in his left knee and underwent surgery this past Tuesday. The Oklahoma native Orton is rated a five-star recruit by the recruiting service Rivals.com. Now he should be ready to play by his first practice of next season. UK Hoops opened its exhibition uh, season against Kentucky State Wednesday night. We'll pick it up in the second half. We got Carly Morrow finding a cutting in Monty Franklin for the tough basket and the foul. Morrow had three assists in the game. And there's Carly Ormerod. She's finding Victoria Dunlap for a uh, full court pass and no need for the glass on that one. And Monty Franklin, his double team, somehow finds a streaking Carly Ormerod for the easy two there. And uh, in our last clip, Dunlap, and she's going to beat the defense. And Amber Smith finds her for the lay-in. Uh, yeah, that's right, the Cats won big over K-State, 99-28. UK football has reached another milestone this season. The team is now bowl eligible for the third straight year. Kentucky now has three six-win seasons in a row. That's the first time that's happened in Lexington since 1956. An election season is finally over, but head coach Rich Brooks still has two candidates a quarterback to consider. Mike Hartline and Randall Cobb split possessions in last week's win, and there's more where that came from. While he says a two-party system at Signal Caller isn't ideal, Brooks said at his weekly press conference, quote, the two quarterbacks are our best opportunity to win games. Cobb made his first start at quarterback in last week's win over Mississippi State. Though he split time, he finished with one passing score and another on the ground. And it looks like it'll take both those quarterbacks and all the Wildcats have got to take down Georgia this week at home. Thanks, Clay, but it looks like they might need to be taking some extra gear out there for the UK fans. That's right. Well, that's right. Our warm weather is coming to an end. Coming up, we'll take a look at this weekend's forecast. <laughs> 